Hey guys, it's Laughing Unicorn and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a different video from what I usually do. Uh, I am going to be doing a GFX tutorial or a graphic tutorial. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you do, leave a like and comment down below what you'd like to see next on my channel. And let's get right into the video. So first, you're going to have to download Roblox Studio. If you don't have that yet, there will be a link in the description. And from that link, you will be able to download Roblox Studio. So this is what it's going to look like once you're in Roblox Studio. You're going to select Base Plate. And then you're going to press View. And you're going to open your Explorer and Properties tabs. Now, if you want to make a GFX which only involves yourself, click Home, then click Play. Your own character will pop up. Once this is done, go to Explorer, open Workspace, and once that's done, you are going to select your username and press Cut. And you're going to press the little red square at the top of your screen. Now once that's done, you're going to select Workspace and click Paste Into, and there you go. This is your character. Now my character is R15, and to make a graphic, it's better to have basically an R6 character, let's just say that. And I'm going to take this off, and that will automatically make my character R6. First, you need to find that person's username. So I'm going to use the creator of Bloxburg. There we go. Now you're going to go to the link at the top of your page. And there's going to be this little number at the top in the link. You're going to copy that and now once that's copied you're going to go to your roblox studio click home click play your character is going to load in and then once that's done you're going to select players christy XO. then you're going to go to your properties tab so once you have opened your properties tab you are going to go to character appearance id the default should be zero, but you are going to paste in the ID that you copied from the link, and then you are going to reset your character. So once that happens, you are going to spawn as the person you've decided to morph as. And then it's the same exact process. You click Explorer, Workspace, go to your username, and copy it. Now for this, I'm obviously just going to use my character. So again, I'm going to cut it stop and paste it there we go so here's my character in all its glory now of course you can edit it put hats on it do whatever you want with it so once everything is done and you have your character all set up you're going to select your username here then you're going to right click and you are going to export selection once that's done, you can save it as anything. I'm going to save it as my username on my desktop and just hit save. Now you are going to need the help of something called Blender. There's going to be a link in the description to download this. There are no viruses, nothing at all. Don't worry. So once you open Blender, it should look like this. There's going to be a little cube in the center. Just hit X on your keyboard and delete it. Now to move around, you just press Shift and F. And then just press the keys that you use to move around in Roblox, so W, A, S, D. So once you get the hang of it and you've moved around a bit, you are going to click File, and then Import, and then Wavefront. Once you've opened that up, find your file and select the .obj. Now, my character shows up in Blender, but it's gray. What you have to do for this is that you have to click on that snowball looking thingy and click material. Your skin is going to show, but it's going to look a bit cloudy. To remove that, just 
just open this on the side and then scroll down until you find lamp. Click on that. A new icon here is going to pop up. So just click that and then scroll down a bit and tick Speculiar off. As you can see, it changes quite a bit. The default is set on point, but what you're going to have to do is that you're going to have to click Hemi or Hemi and it's going to change the light on your character. Now you can set the energy to whatever you'd like. I like it being at either 1 or 1.5. So there you have it. Most of it is done so far. But now we need to start bending limbs. Bending limbs is actually quite easy and you'll quickly get the hang of it. When I started doing graphics, it was really hard, but I got through it. So first you need to select the limb that you want to bend. I'm just going to do a waving pose. So first I will need to rotate my head on the side. So you're going to right click on whatever you want to select and hold shift. So I'm going to select my head, my headphones, my hair, and my glasses. I'm going to move a bit and click this little quarter of a circle thingy. Move back a bit and you're going to see this. Just drag it along and edit it as you'd like. There we go, I've got mine all set up. So I'm just going to bend this limb over here. First, what you're going to have to do before you do anything is that you are going to click on the triangle here and you are going to take off auto smooth. So you're going to go to the rotate tool and you're going to rotate the hand a little bit. Not too much, just enough so it looks like it's attached to your body. And you're going to drag it along with this little tool here, which is right next to the rotate tool. And what I like to do is I like to put it in front just a bit so that it doesn't blend in with the torso. Now comes the harder part. It's not exactly hard, but pay very close attention. You're going to go to object mode while having your hand selected. And you're going to click edit mode. You're going to go to the sidebar on the side and you're going to scroll down and make sure you have subdivide and remove doubles in view. So you're going to hit subdivide as many times as you'd like. For beginners, I would suggest only hitting it once twice if you're getting better with it and another time if you're good with blender and you think you can make it and then once that's done you're going to remove doubles so this is a little trick that i use most people like to just select the sides but it's a bit confusing at first but you'll get to it so what you're going to do here is that you're going to right click on anything it doesn't really matter and <laughs> get ready for this it's gonna get a little bit confusing but you're gonna click Z or Z however you want to say it on your keyboard and it's going to show everything kind of like this but that's fine just make sure you're centered and you can see the lines properly and you're going to click control and you're going to drag your mouse while left clicking just drag it, make sure it's straight, and it's going to select a part of your hand. So again, just click Control. I'm going to center myself. There we go. So now we're just going to click on this little sphere here and Material, and it'll put it back to Material. You're going to take the Rotate tool, and you're going to rotate your limb just a bit, just to make sure it's natural, and you're going to position it in a waving position. There we go. Make sure it looks natural. And then you're going to click on edit mode and change it back to object mode. And then just edit it as you want. Make sure it looks good. Make sure it looks just as you wanted it to look. There we go. So mine's done. I'm going to bend the other limb and I'm going to speed that forward. Just an extra edit guys, this is what happens if you click subdivide but you don't turn auto smooth off. Your hand kind of looks weird. So um, just make sure to turn auto smooth off.
All right, so I have now bent the arms. And what you're going to do now, or what I'm going to do, is to make my GFX look more realistic. And if it's a full body, I'm going to bend the legs a little bit so it looks more realistic. Core is turning auto smooth off. So what I do is I rotate them just a bit, like that. And then I hit edit mode. I subdivide just like I did for the arms. I remove the doubles and then I move forward a bit, hit C or Z as some of you say it and select the lower part. And then I'm going to twist it towards the back a bit, just like so. Here is what the final product looks like. Not a lot, but then I'll just rotate the other leg a little bit, just so this is more visible. And I'll do the same thing. All right, so that's done. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know everything until this step. But a lot of you don't know how to make the quality of your graphics better, but I'm here to help you. This might take some time on some computers, but it doesn't take that long for me, and I'm on a MacBook Pro, so that's completely fine. You're going to hit the little camera over here, you're going to go to resolution, and what I do is I set it to 10,000. So far, your graphic is done, but there are still a few things that you need to add. Scroll down to shading, and go to alpha. And you can decide if you want your graphic to have a transparent background, which I mostly use since I'm doing my edits, or a grayish background. So I usually just pick transparent. Now to render it. You're going to click view, camera, you're going to press shift and F, and you're going to move around, there we go. So once that's done, you're going to go to render and render image. So here we go, my graphic is completely rendered. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click image and then save as image and then just save it as whatever you'd like. I'll save it as yodeling Walmart kid. So now it is saved as a PNG on your computer and this is what it looks like. It's actually very good quality so I suggest you use my render settings. So once that's done, I'm going to show you all of the effects. Now, I usually use Photoshop, but a lot of you don't want to use Photoshop or just don't want to buy it. So instead, I'm going to use this very similar app called Pixelar.com. So you're going to scroll all the way down to Pixelar Editor and launch web app.
Alright everyone, so here it is, the final result. It may not be as good as my other graphics, but I did do this on Pixel R and not Photoshop, so I didn't have access to many of the features that I was using. If you're thinking of getting Photoshop, please do so, it's awesome. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, please ask them in the comments. Uh, it's really late right now, so I apologize if my voice is tired or if I sound sleepy. And without further ado, goodbye!